I was in approximately from 1959 to 1965. I had three years active and the rest reserve time. He had that mobility scooter and when it broke down, he didn't have the money to buy a new one. And so people said, you got to set up a GoFundMe and help raise some more money. So I did and people donated like crazy from all over the world. I mean, all over the world. So I ended up setting up something. It's called GoFundMe. But in 24 hours, strangers who have never met you but love you donated $5,000 for a scooter for you. No, you're kidding. I don't know what to say about that. Five thousand dollars. That's right. That is so wonderful. I'm sorry for being emotional, but I can't help it. You remember last time we were here, we had raised five thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, I looked recently when it was nine thousand dollars, which I couldn't even believe. I can't believe it. <laughs> 3,000, much less five. Yeah. So now, I just looked. You know how much people have given to you? Any idea? No. How much do you think? Well, let's see, it was what, 8,000? Mm -hmm. I don't know, probably 10,000? Almost. They've given you 45,000. What? $45,000? That's like winning the lottery. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I gotta cry now. I can't help it, but $45,000? You know, Amanda. You know, Amanda, I might tell you something. And I mean this. Ever since I started going back to church, God has watched over me and she, he gave me all kinds of angels taking care of me and doing this and everything. You know, 45. Oh my goodness, Amanda. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Oh, this is cold, Amanda. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness sake. Oh, oh, this is so good. Oh, that's <laughs> We decided to give back some of that money to veterans for scooters. And then we set up another account to raise money for more scooters for veterans. And now we're working on establishing a nonprofit called the Patriotic Kenny Foundation. So people are able to give money and get on um, that tax write-off money back um, and donate so we can give more scooters to more veterans. Kenny, I'd just like to say thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You're a gentleman, and I hope you keep doing your good work. Thank you again. Amanda. Another veteran got his scooter. Ancient Orange. Vietnam. He's missing a leg. Oh, Amanda. That's extra special for you. Well, as you can see, Kenny finally got my scooter. I really want to thank you and Amanda for getting around quite a bit. I appreciate it. And keep up the good work. Keep everybody happy. Made me happy. So, thanks again. Really, what an honor that is to be that Amanda. That is something real.
my plan is that the crew sticks together, don't ever drift apart. I don't know what I do then, but I'm not going to. Don't, don't go there. Yeah, I'm not going there. But anyway, <laughs> is to continue doing what we are doing with uh, Patriotic Kenny is to go on forward and help United States uh, Armed Services men and women. That, that That's my goal. Let's continue doing good. When opportunities arise, seize them, you know, go for it. Yep. To this day, uh, I think about it every day because it's so hard to believe, you know, uh, what happened. It's so crazy because I never in my life thought this would ever happen. I want to thank Amanda and the crew, mainly Amanda, what she does for the crew. You know, I really want to throw out a, a good thank you shot to her, but also the crew too. Thank you. What I treasure the most out of the whole journey with Kenny and Jenny and Jerry, the whole crew, would just definitely be the relationships that have been built among the crew, the four of us, but as well as the relationships meeting veterans, like Kenny said, and people opening their lives to us and people being vulnerable in moments when they're weak, when they can't physically get around, with family members really supporting them and showing love. Being involved in those moments has been very special. The faces that we meet, the people that we see, and we see their lives change, their mental health improve. Unbelievable. I mean, I got an email from somebody just last week that said her family member has been really depressed because they can't get around and they've been staying in their home and they've threatened, you know, suicide to kill themselves over a scooter because they can't get around. They're not independent. I mean, they gave us freedom and independence. We should do the same back. Do you remember your name sign? That's right. And who's this? That's... Oh, I see... I, I, Jerry. I want to come Pinky. up. Pinky. Jerry. <laughs>